Next up is the much larger Powerad 40 watt dual voltage, meaning it's 5 volt USB plus 12 volt up to actually 16, 18 volt so it can charge laptops. So it actually got a little bit cloudier, so it's quite overcast. And uh, what we're getting in this overcast day, let's see if we can get a reading here. It's fluctuating between just under an amp, 4.26 volts because of the cloudy. Just under an amp, which isn't bad, so it'll charge the lantern twice as fast as the E scene on a cloudy day. So we'll have to do this again when it's got some sunshine out. Yep, I can see the red glow. Meaning it's charging. Yeah, it seems to be increasing slowly. 99, there's one amp, 4.28, 4.24. Yet it's quite cloudy. So we'll try to do this tomorrow or Saturday, whichever day we're going to have full sun to uh, see how this goes. And the lantern is left at 1.5 volt bridged. Um, charge mode right now. I didn't remove the solar off the bridge yet to test it for a lower amperage, but uh, wow. Oh, now it's increased 1.5 amps, 4.63. Yeah. Still quite overcast, surprising. So that means this larger panel is able to put the full 1.5 amps of charge rate into the lantern on a cloudy day meaning that the, uh, the Powerad 40 watt panel will charge a lantern in its normal time on a cloudy day. And it's unusual that it increase because the sun really never came out yet. It's still completely dingy dark. It's actually going to be starting raining pretty soon according to the forecast. But in the meantime, yeah. It's, you can't see it, but it's actually glowing green or glowing red. Uh, yeah, so far so good with the solar test at the 1.5 amp range, and it's still a septic charge even with the smaller panels. The, uh, the e 10 watt and the eBay generic one with the additional booster pack. Uh, 